The report, titled Ghosts of Christmas Past, was launched by 19 humanitarian organizations that are urging the international community to act quickly to prevent another Christmas massacre by the Lord's Resistance Army. The LRA first committed the massacres in the Christmas period of 2008 and 2009 against remote communities in Sudan, the Central African Republic and the Democratic Republic of Congo. The killings took place in areas where the LRA had taken refuge after they were flashed out of Uganda by the Uganda army in 2007. 865 women, men and children were reportedly beaten to death on the eve of Christmas in 2008 by the rebels, with about 300 killed in the following year despite the presence of UN peacekeeping forces. The report now says the international community must move in to stop a likely recurrence of the atrocities. However, UPDF spokesperson Lieutenant Colonel Felix Kulaije, who spoke to NTV on phone, says the LRA, once a terror in northern Uganda for two decades, is too weakened to commit the kind of atrocities it did in 2008. Indeed, in the 2008 December, those massacres were committed because uh, LRA was still strong. But as of now, LRA is greatly weakened, it is sparse. It is dispersed in the entire region of Central Africa, DRC, some even in Darfur. So you do not expect them to have the same capacity or ability to commit uh, massacres as they did in 2008 Christmas time. Our task as UPDF is cons consistent and constant pursuit of LRA. Whereas the national militaries of DRC and Central Africa are assigned the task of guarding their people. The U.S. government has this year supported the Ugandan government's efforts to hunt down the LRA rebel group. It outlined a four-point strategy to protect civilians, remove Kony and his commanders from the battlefield, promote the defection or disarmament of LRA fighters, and increase humanitarian assistance to people in LRA-affected areas. Chris Ochamringa, NTV 11.